Hello again, everyone, and welcome in. I'm Steve Baker, the voice of the Red Hawks, as we meet the staff. The 2017-18 men's basketball season just around the corner and introducing you to the new staff under head coach Jack Owens. We're in Coach Owens' office here, and I'm talked with uh, talking with former Miami great Damon Frierson. And smooth welcome, man. Glad to have you here at thank Miami you. University <coughs> once again. Yeah, thank you. It's great to be back, and uh, we're excited. We've got a good recruiting class coming in, and... Um, I know Jack's going to do well. I've been knowing him for a long time, so we're all excited and ready to get the season season going, uh, starting in the summer. Yeah, I, I know that you and uh, Jack have known each other for many years. Uh, what was that phone call like or the conversation like in uh, getting um, ready to come back to Miami? Uh, good. It, it, it all started like we used to, I used to always joke with him like uh, when he was at you know Purdue saying hey wherever you you know get a head coaching job you got to bring me on the staff at some oh, point yeah. Oh, yeah. In, in some capacity and then uh, when he called this past uh, spring early April or March I believe and um, he was asking about Miami and the campus and I told him how you know how beautiful the campus is and how I you know I loved love playing here and had a great time here and I don't think he really realized how when I was telling him how beautiful the campus was. I don't think he really believed me believed until you. he came until he came here and saw it for himself. And um, and then he asked me uh, to you know join the staff uh, once if he if he got the job. And I told him I would you know think about it because I had been you know working in Columbus the past ten years at a pharmaceutical uh, company, um, pharmaceutical distributor, medical supply distributor, and Cardinal Health and. You know, I had worked with great people, and um, I told him, "Yeah, I'll consider it. Uh, give me some time to think about it." But I knew deep down, I think I, this was something I couldn't pass up, and um, I wanted to get back and uh, help bring Miami back, Miami basketball back to uh, the top of the map. A big part of your job is going to be reaching out to those alums, uh, getting them re-engaged in the program. Uh, those guys that uh, you know made Miami basketball great before, yep. um, and I, I know that is something that you love to do anyway. Yeah, yeah. And and once I got on board, and you know the word was out, and a lot of my former teammates reached out and congratulated me, and and they're all excited. And guys that I play with. And guys that played before me and after, um, they're they're excited because they want you know to see Miami win again and, and be successful in the MAC where we should be and, and be on top where we should be. And so, I just want to reach out to all the uh, you know past alumni and to have them come back as much as possible and, and join you know interact with the coaching staff you know with the players and just have a big family atmosphere and. Um, and grow it as big as we can. And the other okay. part of the equation uh, for you has got to be that you've been there and done that here at yeah. Miami University. You obviously graduated, have your degree from Miami. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been through the battles here and what it takes to get through Miami, and that's something that current players are going to need to relate to. I mean, they're, they're, there's somebody there that can say, okay, yeah, I've, I've done that before. Yeah, definitely. And um, I can, you know, relay that message to them like I've been in their shoes and I know what it's like to, you know, uh, be away from home and, and being a first year student here and the transitions from high school to, to college and especially being here in, in Oxford, it's, you know, a little challenging for some of the guys that come from, you know, bigger place, bigger, ci big, bigger cities. So, um, but, at the same time, you know, I've my the teams that I played on had success, so it is you know possible, and I'm just looking forward to you know really working with the guys and and uh, being like a mentor, like a life coach to them, and helping them on and off the court. All right, big question. Looking back on your playing days, is there one single moment or a group of moments that you go back and say that was it? Um, probably in in the tournament because yeah. you know everyone you know loves especially at the mid-major level, to get to the tournament was huge and, and to win that first game against Washington and, and just the, the, the locker room scene a afterwards and then to come back and to beat Utah the, the, the next, well, not the following day, but the, the next game and, um, and then coming back to Oxford and getting the reception that we have with all the, the students and the uh, um, faculty and that was just you know, a great time and we're hoping and we want to get back to that, that you know, winning spirit and, and bring the, you know, the Miami tradition back, the Miami basketball back and 
Um, I think Jack will do well. He's he's ready to go. He, um, like I said, bringing in the guys that uh, we have coming in and then the guys that will be uh, coming back. We're excited. We want to, you know, up the intensity, you know, play aggressive, play physical. And, and our, one, our one goal is to win the max. So, um, but we know it's not going to be easy, but we're going to, you know, build the foundation and um, hopefully we'll get there. Damon Frierson joining us here. It's Meet the Staff. You can catch all of our interviews and meet the entire Miami Redhawks basketball staff just by going to MiamiRedHawks.com. Oh, 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 oh,